Y'all, we are not okay. We have a global mental health crisis. And layering on top of that, we have insurmountable collective traumas, intergenerational wounds that are being created, legacies of grief. There's so much suffering that's going on. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but this is only the tip of the iceberg. We have so much that is likely to happen to us emotionally as a world that is witnessing atrocities through and through every single day, all day for some of us. There's a lot of repair that we're gonna have to do. I wanna show you something. There's a diagram that I created when I was writing the book because I wasn't able to really find a diagram in all of the areas of disaster relief and crisis collective trauma work, like any of it that actually like had what I wanted to illustrate for folks. Hold on. I remember seeing this diagram of the phases of disaster relief that was in some of the materials for the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, SAMHSA. And I thought, okay, so this diagram is basically telling us like, you enter a state where there is some sort of a threat that's coming up. Then the threat or the, the issue actually happens. And then you enter a point of reconciliation and then reconstruction. But what about if the trauma never goes away? What happens when it's ongoing collective trauma? And instead of one original impact, a community is hit twice and three times and four times. The very top of this diagram reflects a calm nervous system. The bottom reflects a nervous system that is in a state of overwhelm. And the greater the impact, the less capacity we develop to move into that place where we feel ease and calm. And the greater the chances that we emotionally shut down. And this is only one layer of collective trauma. Our world is hurting and we're gonna have a lot of work to do.